Each Australian farmer produces enough food to feed 600 people. Our farmers provide 93% of our daily food supply. But who is going to support them? So that all Australians can enjoy a prosperous future. People who live in the bush actually are very frequently ignored or they're understood in a very simplistic way. You have this whole set of problems that are due to the environment, to the economy, and the standard problems of communities, and those things happen together. So this set of adversities create this enormous weight. For the general population, the rates of suicide are about 9.5 to 10 per 100,000. When you get rural, you're talking about 15 per 100,000. All sorts of key services are either not available or they're not good. If you're struggling to feed your cattle, you're never going to spend 200 bucks to go and look after your mental health. Our service is completely free and we try and remove a lot of the barriers to access that often people find really difficult to navigate. What's unique about our program is that our counsellor can come out have a cup of tea with them. Then they might walk around the property and hear about the concerns, looking at how do we support farmers and farming families to be well, so that they don't end up at that pointy end of mental health where things have really started to take a bit of a spiral down. Currently we have 15 councillors across Australia. Each councillor covers a 300 kilometre radius. So we're really hoping, looking into the future, that we'll be able to expand our counselling service so that we're able to have more people on the ground supporting rural communities. We are so lucky to live in a country where we have such an abundance of beautiful produce and food. To be able to support that, I think is really special.